In this video, I want to show you how to clear your browsing data and all your Microsoft Edge history when you exit the new Microsoft Edge. This can be useful if each time you want to start Microsoft Edge, you need a fresh start and you don't want it to save any of the history. To do this, in the new Microsoft Edge, click on the upper right corner on the three dots, click Settings, under Settings on the left, click on Privacy and Services, and scroll down until you arrive to the section which is called Clear Browsing Data. Here you have something called Choose what to clear every time you close the browser. Click on this, and these are the settings that you need to activate in order to clear all the data each time you exit Microsoft Edge. So click to select each one of them. So here's the browsing history first, then you have your download history, the cookies and other site data. If you want to keep any cookies or other site data of a particular site, you can add it here if you want. So to add the site, you just click on add here, and then you type the name of the site. Here I want to add my site, for instance. So I'm going to put knowledge sharing tech dot com add so this way each time you exit the browser all the cookies that were saved from knowledge sharing tech will remain and they will not be cleared this is an optional step of course then you have your cached images and files also activate this the passwords also if you don't want to save any password autofill form data also site permissions, and hosted apps. For the sake of this video, I'm going to remove knowledge sharing tech because I want everything to be cleared each time I exit this browser. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click on remove. So this is everything activated. Let's test it now. We need to close the settings and here you have knowledge sharing tech which is already open. So if I close Edge, so let's start Edge now. If I type knowledge sharing tech, it should pre-populate, but it's not pre-populating as you see, so the browser history was deleted. Let's see what we have in history. Everything should be empty. So as you see here, there is nothing until recently closed. So that was it. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.